Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the 0x8007057 error you might be getting on your Windows device. So whether it be in a blue screen form or you're just getting a pop-up saying this error alert, this tutorial will cover how to hopefully resolve this issue without too many problems. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by heading over to the start button and you want to left click on it to open it up. Now you want to type in computer. The best match that comes up on Windows 10 should say this PC right above desktop app. You want to left click on that. So now underneath your drive, preferably the one that says local disk, I'm assuming that's the drive you're having the issue with. It might be a different drive letter, but nonetheless it should say C or D or E or something along those lines. You want to right click on this drive and then left click on the properties button near the bottom. Now you want to left click on the tools tab right next to general. Underneath error checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Left click on this check button right here. It's going to say you don't need to scan this drive perhaps. We're going to left click on scan drive. You can keep using this drive during the scan. If errors are found, you can decide if you want to fix them. So I'm going to left click on that option to start scanning our drive here. And this will take a moment, so just be patient. Okay, so it should say Windows successfully scanned the drive, no errors were found. Now if there were errors, what I'd recommend doing, it might ask you to restart your computer and run a more thorough scan. At that point you would do just that. And if we click on show details, at least in my instance because I do not have this error alert, that's why I'm not receiving this error. But we see that it does create a log in the event viewer for future reference. So we can close out of here. And we can close out of here as well and close out. And I'd recommend restarting your computer. If that did not resolve the issue, what I recommend doing now is right click on the start button. Go up and left click on where it says command prompt and in parentheses admin. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now you want to type in SFC, all lowercase, space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should be one word, and then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin running a system integrity scan, and it will take some time to run. So just be patient. And again, this will take a little bit of time. Once it's done, it probably will ask you to restart your computer. I recommend you do that. And then once you've restarted your computer, it should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.